Do you now? Oh, oh, look at the slug. Disgusting. I love it. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matt Malone. I'm back home. I took a long trip home and, uh, well, home to my, uh, to my hometown. And now I'm back. I played some music with my band. I saw my family. Felt really freaking good. Also, before we get into the video, there's a lot of new Patriots members that I didn't have the time until now because I wasn't here to welcome. So, I want to say hello to Jake the MTG Snake, Lucas Zimmer, and uh, Del Martinez. Thank you also very freaking much for supporting the channel. And we also even have a new Nico Bolas, God Pharaoh, Jonathan Sauer. Thank you very freaking much. I don't know why I said half German, half English. It's okay. But thank you also very freaking much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. Also, now you're entered automatically in the new giveaway. And if you're a, Zedra, uh, if you're a, a gold span dragon, or an Ecobolus God Pharaoh. Let me know in the Discord so I can upgrade you right away. Also, I have so much stuff to do right now that I find it hard to even go into the Discord or answer your comments. So please forgive me that right now I'm not the most interactive person, but I will be back. Don't you worry about it. I will still take my time for this channel and all the community that we build around it because I really, really am glad to have you all. So enough with the yammering. Let's get into the anti-aggro hammering. So I came back, I played some more three or two games and I realized everything is aggro. Everything is aggro. Or extra turns. But how are you supposed to build a deck that's good against aggro and extra turns at the same time and beats mono green? Yeah, you kinda have to play the rock, paper, scissor here. And we're going with the paper. Just wrapping around the stone that is aggro. So yeah, here we are. This is an Orzov Toxrail deck. Oh, oh. You're such a mean snail. Such a mean freaking snail. So, gives minus one, minus one to all the creatures every single turn. It's amazing. Each creature you don't control. And then we're making ourselves a lot of freaking tokens all the time. We have the wedding announcement four times. That means that we get 12 tokens. We have, uh, where is it? Where is the Edgar, which gives us a token as soon as it's dead. We have the Loaf, which gives us tokens. So we have a lot of tokens. Together with the Tox Rule, we will have even more tokens. So it is very, very freaking nice. That is why we also have the Enrica in here, because if we want our opponent to sacrifice a creature, we can do so with all of our tokens, as I already said. And yeah, the rest of the deck is a very nice control shell. So we have our Shambly Boy into Deadly Dispute, so we can ramp real quick into our Loaf or our Tox Rule, even better. Now we have the Vanishing Verse, because, oh my god, Lear, get out of here, get freaking out of here, Kraken, get freaking out of here. So we need something in instant speed to get rid of those two, and here it is, the Vanishing Verse. So, very, very good. That's our only spot removal, the rest is all board wipes, like the Medoc Massacre, the Blood on the Snow to bring everything from here on out back, and the Path to Peril, of Peril, so we can destroy creatures in the early game, and in the late game we have another board wipe, because we're also playing white, so it is very, very freaking amazing. We of course have two Duraces, because you always need those right now against, like, Mono Green, very good against that, and extra turns, let's be honest, you want to them to at least have one less extra turn, if you may. That would be amazing. If you draw this on turn three, it might be too late, but if it is still in your starting hand, very freaking sweet. There we have the Skullport Merchant, because with all of our little tokens, we really want to draw cards. And then we have the Meadook Masker, because if we can, if we get like a bajillion little Toxril uh, slugs, we can just Meadook Masker them. And together with the Wedding Announcement, and our Edgar's Coffin, and our Spider Queen, we will have enough of power on the board to meet up Massacre and then just BOOM! Get him all freaking out of here! Then of course we have some Faceless Havens because we're playing Blood on the Snow, so Faceless Haven is real good here. So yeah, then we're playing 3 Shattered Sanctum, 10 Snow Covered Swamps and 5 Snow Covered Plains and we have 3 Field of Ruins because they're just so needed. So you could say, well, we only have 3 white cards in here, yeah, but they're making the deck real good and really resilient, so this is kind of a Mono black with a little splash of white for these three cards. And they're totally freaking worth it. So yeah, 
This is the AAA Games Anti-Aggro again, once more. We beat him them all. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in those anti-aggro games. All right, how do you like the new lighting? Am I not beautiful? Isn't my hair shiny and everything? Oh my, if we're up against aggro, this is the perfectest hand ever. If we're not up against aggro, well, then we missed our purpose because this is the anti-aggro deck and it's extra turns. Please don't play a red. Please don't play a red. Okay, we do have a chance. Why are they playing snow lands but no snow lands? They're still playing extra turns, don't you get me wrong. They're still doing it. Just like they're trying to hide it, you know? Trying to hide that they're playing extra turns. So, souls to fear. Another spell has been foretold, eh? So let's bring down our vetting announcement. Here comes the human with the pitchfork, stabbing your eyeball. You will be dead the moment it stabs your eyeball. Also, why is the wedding announcement not making vampires? That part I really don't get. Like, only vampires are allowed to come in. Okay, the fading up. Okay. So we're just chilling. We're making ourselves another little human. They want to return it to our hand, then we can just deadly dispute the human. And then we can deadly dispute all the other stuff, like the treasure. It's all good. It's all good. So I should learn not to auto-pass the turn here. Because bad things happen. The divide by zero. Seriously? Was that worth it? Was it now? Well, I bet it was, because now they're getting themselves a card draw card. What? Okay, well, maybe they don't. Maybe they don't get themselves the card draw card. But well, we're getting ourselves the loaf down. Yes, yes. Because we need to be super aggressive here. And then next turn we can still go with the wedding announcement. And we do still have the deadly dispute. So it's all good in the neighborhood. If they wipe the board here, that is also fine. It will grow our loaf. That sounds disgusting. Fateful absence. Now you really done it. Now you really have done it. I can draw two cards with this, and it will cost me one mana. Yes, because this pays kind of for itself. Also, way too much on the left. Alrighty. We're doing this now, once more, and we're doing this for zero. Yes, because if they wipe the board, they will have to pay dearly for it. Freaking dearly. And we're drawing ourselves the vanishing. Might be good, who knows? We will have to find out. One, two, three, four, five. If they're taking two extra turns here, that is still okay. The memory deluge, that is no extra turn. I like it. I really do. And we can still draw cards with our clue here. So, Azorius, who will win? Who will prevail? We will find out. We still have a fading hope, though. Yeah, yeah, there it is. There is the fading hope. Good for you, my friend. Good for you. The Shamley boy, really nice here. Not finding a land, not nice at all. But we're still drawing a bajillion cards here, so it's all good. The Adgar, eh? That is good. So here comes one extra turn. Just you wait. They had both of them in the starting hand. It's just the way it is. Are you seriously playing three Fading Hopes in a row? Are you seriously doing that? Well... Here comes my deadly dispute. If they counter this, wow. Heroes. Is the sound card back? Yeah, it is. All right, they're deadly dispute. They're dividing by zero my deadly dispute. Seriously? Wow, you're really desperate, aren't you? You really are desperate, my friend. So my sound card just died. That is so bad. Alright, I still do have another one of those, so it's all good. Alright, and if they have no mana right now, we can do this. Good. Even another Metok Massacre. Very, very amazing. Very amazing. 
So, do I go with the Toxroid right here? I don't think I do. They have nothing on the board right now. We're going with the Adgar. We're going with another Shambly boy. We are attacking in. And if they wipe the board here, all of our stuff will grow even uh, anyways here to the wedding announcement. Now, if they wipe the board, we're still okay. If they take an X turn, we're also okay. But I'm pretty sure that they have a board wipe here. Pretty sure. Like... Oh my lord, how many things do they foretell here? What is all this? I don't like it. I do not at all. Do not like it at all. Come on, wipe the board. Do it. Wipe the board. That is four damage. I can bring down the Toxril. The Leer. You know, the Leer is the main reason I have these Vanishing Verses in here. The Leer and the Kraken. That was not the best choice, my friend. Not at all. Alrighty. So, we're getting in there. For a lot of damage. And then... A boom! Yes! Mm, mm, mm. Get out of here, Azorius! Now I can check what those cards were. Holy smokes. All of them were Doom Scars? What? Three Doom Scars? Why didn't you use one? You you really should have used one here. Absolutely. Should have used the Doom Scar. Get out of here, Azorius. Get out of here. Nothing more beautiful than destroying a Leer. Oh, Leer. You're so annoying. So if we find one land, we're good. So let's keep this hand for now. All right, we couldn't find a land but the third Vanishing Verse. Which can be very good for us. There it is. There is the land. Especially up against a mono black deck. Very good. Alright, there's the Skullport Merchante. Oh my. Is there a need to show them that we're white as well? No, there's not. None so ever. So they will bring down a Loth now. Which we can answer with our Vanishing Verse. So that is good. They might even bring down a professor. No, they can't. They can't. There it is. Didn't I just tell you? Didn't I just freaking tell you? I did. I did. Don't you ever forget that I did freaking tell you. Alrighty. We're getting rid of the law. And then we're getting rid of their board. Like, this was a good trade-off in my eyes. Getting rid of the Loth, getting rid of the Spiders. They just play another Loth here, and then we're sad. But if they don't, immediately bring down another Loth. We're kind of good. The Fell Stinger. Are you doing it, though? You are. Okay. Interesting. Eating that horse like there is no tomorrow. Super Trooper, blah, 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 blah. I don't know the words, but I do have a meat hook massacre. Perfection. Per freaking faction. So, next turn we can finally play our Henrika. We're getting some life here. We're not giving them the fish slap. There might be a reason to keep this Skullport Merchant. You never know what it is, but it might be. Alrighty. Henrika Domnathe. Ready for action. Yeah, that is like we're taking two damage thanks to the Meatook Massacre before. So maybe we even draw something good here. Who knows? Oh, they have an Eye Twitch. Interesting. Pretty interesting. And we're drawing a card and losing one life. Okay. Not perfect, but it is something. We could still get rid of something here with our Vanishing Versus, so it's all good in the neighborhood, as they say. And depending on what they do, is this... No colors, okay. Target mono. Like, no color is kind of mono colored, you know? The color of no color, or whatever. I, I don't know where I was going with this. So do we see... Yeah, the Falstinger was new. Kudos for that, Super Trooper 2. A Super Trooper 1 really taken... Was it really taken, my friend? Is there seriously somebody called Super Trooper Zero One? 
and then a super trooper without any numbers, and then maybe a super trooper 666. Interesting. Pretty freaking interesting. Okay. Let's go for the value here. Well, that is good. Also, we can get rid of their Mito Masker, so it's all good. It's all freaking good. What are you getting yourselves? The, uh, the, uh, Masked Exhibition? Oh my. Interesting. Pretty freaking interesting. But not good enough. Just not good enough. You still need a treasure for that, so good luck with that. Good luck finding a treasure in this economy. Well, there is a treasure. Right away. Just right away. Not bad. Not freaking bad. And the eye twitch. Okay, they can still do it if they want to. Can still get rid of it. But we just have another one, so I really don't care too much about it. Okay. We're getting rid of their Mitok Masker as well. Just out of pure spite. So they're getting themselves a little pest. We're sacking our treasure to find ourselves something amazing. The wedding announcement is really good here. Wow! Do you need any Mitok Masker with that Mitok Masker? Yes, please. And might I have some more Meat Hook Massacre while we're at it? That would be amazing. Alrighty! So, are we keeping up our Vanishing Verse? I don't think we are. But there should be coming a... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But if they're playing that, you know, I can just meet a Massacre once more and then what? And then what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Also, they're missing a land to do so. So, oh, they don't. Okay, they don't miss a land to do so. They just don't. They just have it. They just have it. Do we even really care here? Do I really want to spend another Meatog Massacre? I don't feel like I do. Let's just chill here. We're getting in with everything. Alright. We'll get another blocker. Once this transforms, we can block two things, so it's all good. And maybe they're even spending some mana here. Who knows? Who freaking knows? A third eye twitch. Like, okay. That is a little bit much, you know? Just a little bit much. Oh my lord. Talking about freaking amazing. Here we are! Here we freaking are! Talking about freaking amazing! Oh! Toxrill! I didn't even talk about amazing! I was just like, maybe I draw something good here! Who knows? Who freaking knows? Alrighty! So this is really good! This is exactly what I want to happen! So they could have... Oh, they just take another one of those! Alright! Do you have a board wipe though? Do you now? Oh, oh, look at the slug. Disgusting. I love it. Mmm. So if they do attack in here, we get their creatures. If they do put down another freaking masked exhibition, we get their creature. They just attack in. Okay, that means that they have a board wipe. That one million percent means they have a board wipe. But we're getting some more creatures here. So yeah, that is good. So we're getting two more slugs. If they wipe the board, that would be for six. Yeah, go ahead, do so. And there is nothing in there that you can get but an eye twitch or something like that. And then I will just meet Massacre. massacre. Alrighty. So, we get him. Do we? Yes. Yes. There is nothing they can do. The Skullport Merchant. If they get another creature out of it here, okay. 
But if they don't, well, tough luck, buttercup. Tough freaking luck. All right, let us see what we can do here. But they can do nothing. The Henrika, not yet. But soon. But soon. And now, for the grand freaking finale. Destroy it. Come on, destroy it. Yes! Oh, good game, good game. Trying to beat the master of Mono Black with Mono Black. Mmm, no. Cigar, my friend. Not today. Mmm. So we still need to show Agro who's boss. Me. I am boss. Wow, I hope that wasn't too loud. I didn't want to scare you here. Classiker. Classiker. Class Acre. I have no way to read this. We go in first. I mean, this is a bajillion card draw, so let's keep it. In their turn two, we will have a Skullport Merchant. I'm only getting down to five. Did our prayers get answered here and we're finally up against aggro? Also, what a mono black hand to have. We are. Oh, it's clerics. Alrighty. It is clerics. That is absolutely alright. We uh, maybe even... Oh my, this is not alright. I repeat, this is not alright. Not alright at all. Not at all. Not at all. Please, game, do me a favor here and be cool. Don't give him some more creatures that they can play with the voice of the blessed. And give me... That is good. That is actually good. All right. So we still have our Spider Queen here, which we're absolutely using. Yes, yes, use the Spider Queen. So they would need to get two creatures here. We will slay our two. Otherwise, well, that's not good enough. All right, that is only one. And are they attacking in? They are not. Oh my lord. Please give me a white source here. No white source, but still okay. Still absolutely okay. There's no need to worry yet. Yet. Another Lunark veteran. That is still alright. For now. Where's the triggers? Can I get some triggers? Are they... What? Triggers? Triggers, 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 judge. I. What? The game? Does the opponent have the trigger not on auto and now they don't know what to choose first? Or what is going on? I. I will restart the game real quick. I'll be back in a sec. Oh, they're here. What? What is going on? Okay, I don't have to restart the game. Good, that is good. That is really good. Okay. So, they're attacking face. You're attacking face. Alright. Alright. That is A-OK -okay to me. Then I don't need to do anything. Oh my lord. Talking about having all of the deadly disputes in the world. Like all of them. Another shambly boy. Let us draw a card here. Oh, perfection. Freaking perfection. Okay, we're bringing down another shambly boy here. And we're bringing down the batting announcement. Yes, more blockers. More freaking blockers. So, we'll see what they're doing. Right now we're looking pretty a-okay. What? What is going on here? What is this deck? Okay, so what you doing, my friend? What is it that you're doing? Attacking my loaf and attacking my face. Okay. We can block here like this. Get rid of your stupid voice of the blessed. I don't want to see you anymore. You're dead to me. I hate you, you're not my real voice of the blessed. Okay, very good. Very, very good. 
first off, we're attacking in. That is the first thing that we're doing here. There's no need not to, you know? There's actually no need not to attack in. We're getting ourselves this. We're sacrificing this little human. So that we can have ourselves a blessed loth. Alrighty! Looking good. Looking pretty good. Now in worst case we can still, you know, block the flyer in the air. They have no more cards. Like, why? what is even happening to them? Nothing, I tell you. The circle of confinement. Okay, well we can sacrifice whatever you're circling. So that is good. That was unexpected, but they're getting a lot of life here. So yeah, that is pretty good for them. Alrighty. Auto pay, of course. Like, what else am I supposed to pay here? And, uh, yeah. Game is over. Just over. There is nothing they can ever do anymore to come back from this. It is brutal. Look at it. The brutality. Oh. Oh, the humanity. It doesn't matter. I prefer getting in for some more damage. Then play the, uh... Blood on the snow. Yes. Yes, that is what I'm doing. So getting in there. And I will draw a bajillion cards with the wedding announcement. So it's all good. It is all freaking good. Alright, we can do this then. We get ourselves even more treasure. Uh, yeah. Create a treasure. Oh my, the Edgar. Oh no. Oh no. I messed up. I'm in danger. I only messed up a little bit, you know? I didn't have enough snow to bring back the, uh... To bring back my love. But hip, look at it. It doesn't even really matter. Nice? Thanks. Thank you so much. I, I think so as well. It is pretty nice. It is pretty freaking nice. So next turn we can go... Oh, the welcoming vampire. Like... I'm sorry, my friend. I'm just sorry, you know? But this is going to end now. So, how are we doing this? But first things first. We are attacking in. Let us see how they're blocking. But yeah, I want to get in for as much as I can. And maybe one or two of my creatures can even survive. Like, I don't think they will, but they might. And am I destroying the Edgar? There is no need to destroy the Edgar. Okay. Good. But that also means that none of my creatures will survive for now. Oh my. Okay. Pushing this. Then we push it once more. Uh, then we cannot play the Meadow Massacre. But do we even want to play it at this point? Like, not at all. I don't even want to play it. We're getting rid of the other Lunark veteran. Yes, yes, they can bring it back from the graveyard. But do I even care? Not really. We're getting rid of one of our three blood on the snow here. And then next turn we will slowly but surely get him. So, now we do have the Meadow Massacre. All is good. All is real good. They might think that they're, like, doing stuff here that is just good for them. But it just is way too late. Way too late. So, Meadow for four. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. Now we're playing good game. Good game. I told you. There was nothing they could do anymore at a certain point. I was just in control. Get out of here. Mono white. A clerics. Get out of here. We three to all right now. All of the good cards put in weight. The Toxrill put in weight. The Enrico Domnati put in weight. Talking about Toxrill. Nice of you to show up. Oh, it's extra turns. And we don't have our, um... What's it called? We don't have our good old uh, duress in hand. Oh, it was about to happen sooner or later. 
It was just bound to happen. If they want to return this to my hand, we can just deadly dispute it. And we shall. Yes, yes we shall. Expressive iteration. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, expressive iteration away. Like that is your normal turn to play for, is it? Just have the expressive iteration, always. Why shouldn't they? So, when you go in with the wedding announcement, the more creatures we have on the board, the better. So now, sadly, we don't have any mana open, but uh, we're still okay. We can still deadly dispute and all of the good stuff. And maybe we even draw, like, I don't know, a land here would be good with a tox room. Oh my, so the one extra turnage has been prepared. Good for them, bad for us, but we're still getting in there. We don't get a human, but we do get a card, which is just as good in my book. Just as good. So, here we go, my friend. Are you wiping the board here? You are. How predictable. How incredibly predictable. So, pressure's on the board. Oh, that is that changes a lot of stuff. And Edgar. Hello. In my eyes, Edgar should have an animation. I mean, he's like one of the most important characters in the story. Oh, just a little gold span dragon. How nice of you to show up. Well, a little late to the party, but it's here. It is still here. Oh my lord. Nice. Real nice. We're only attacking with the Edgar. I want that human power on the board. And I want something to, you know, one, two, three, four, five. If we draw a land, we can play the Tox Rill, which would be good. But right now we're not looking too good, because if this is another extra turn, like, then they have three extra turns and not even 15 cards. And the gold span dragon to play it with? Yeah, yeah, not good, not good. But please play the extra turn from your hand, and then don't have another one. That would be amazing. That would be super amazing. So they're still getting in here for six. But we do have the Metook Massacre. Which we can play. So please don't have a third extra turn. Please. That is all I freaking care about. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have it. They have I'm pretty sure they do. Pretty sure they do. Pretty freaking sure that they do. Like, why should they have played the smaller? Oh, they don't. Okay. Okay. That is good. That is really good. It gives me a small chance at life. Just a small one. Okay. What are you doing? Expressive iteration. That is good. Let's do this now. Maybe we do have a chance here. Maybe we do. Who knows? The wedding announcement and the second tox were not really useful, but I'll take it. I'll freaking take it. Oh, please don't let this be a counter spell. Please don't be a counter spell, but I'm pretty sure it is, like, let's be honest here. Let's be freaking honest. Why shouldn't it be? If we go with the Medoc Massacre here... And they do have a counter spell... We're just dead, aren't we? Tough freaking choices, my friends. Tough freaking choices. Like, let's just attack in here first. As I said, if they do have it, we're dead anyways. Nothing we can do. If they don't have it, if they don't have a counter spell here. Well, good game. 
good game. They had three extra turns, uh, two extra turns in the starting end. Like the one extra turn, that killed us. The double, that freaking screwed us. We had one the rest, but you know, two Aurons, two Expressives. Mm, really good, really good. <laughs> so yeah, my computer just died. I took a, around an hour to fix it. I don't know what happened. Sound died, video died, everything died. Just, it didn't work at all. For an hour, I had to fix it. So yeah, I hope that problem will be resolved and that during this game, it won't happen again. That would be cool. That would be real cool. So we do have a nice hand here. That was like, oh wow, so stressful right now. Actually not what I needed. That is also why the video might be coming out a little bit later than expected. Oh, come on. Come on. Seriously, everybody. Seriously, everybody. Just come on. Just come on. It is un unbelievable. As soon as you see blue, you can be sure that people will be playing Orange Epiphany. And as soon as they can, they will be playing, you know, the, uh, yeah, all of these cards that are really good for them. All of them. So, do you play something else? Oh, my lord. I really, really wish Wizards would do something. Because right now the meta is just incredibly boring. Just boring. Just boring, you know? It's so not fun for nobody. Maybe for the people playing, but for us, regular, we want, would like to put out some content. Not fun at all. I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit salty because my computer just died. And now I feel very stressed about getting everything down on time, you know? Which won't happen. Which won't happen. Just not in the realm of possibilities anymore. So, I mean, right now we're looking okay. The Sulfur is mine, yeah, that is alright. The Duress, oh, that is so not alright. That is so not alright. Oh, jeez, really? You really have to have the Duress here. Oh, of all the things unholy. Of all of them unholy. Now we're losing our love. Which would have been so good to have. So good to have. Oh, incredibly good to have. There's no need to attack in here. Like none. If they return the Edgar to my hand, that is also alright with me. Because sooner or later we'll be able to get rid of the smoldering egg. So, pre be prepared for a Leer. And maybe even a Kraken. Because like, if they're playing this color, why shouldn't they play the best cards there are in the set right now? Yeah, that is what's up. Kraken and Leer, best cards there are in the set right now. Alright, do you have more stuff to do? Well, we will have to find out. But I do have a Meadow Massacre, yes I do. I can't play it yet, but I'm very close to playing it. So it's all good in the neighborhood. It is all good in the neighborhood. So, whatever you do in here, that is fine with me. I can be annoying as well if I want to. And I want to draw cards here, yes. The one human is not important to me right now. But what is important is, uh... Like, having the deadly dispute open. Flipping my creatures here. Skullport Merchant, eh? Real good. Real freaking good. Oh, please. Okay. So everything is still working. That is good. But uh, yeah, that was so annoying. You can't imagine how freaking annoying that was. And do you have really another Fading Hope here? They do have another one. They just are running another Fading Hope. But they won't get the Scry. I will deny you the Scry. Yes, the Scry you. So... I still feel like the best course of action here is like, okay, alright. That is very good for you. That is indeed very good for you. Not gonna lie. Oh, uh, what are the two cards they got themselves? I don't even want to know anymore. I just don't. Okay. So they're not doing anything. I appreciate that very much. Because maybe I can... No, I can't. Okay. 
We're doing this still. Getting rid of the Ash Mouth Dragon. And uh, making ourselves a treasure. Okay. So, now we got rid of the dragon. That is real good. And we do have the Faceless Haven, we do have the Adgar here. We got rid of one of their extra turns. The expressive Iteration number two. So Fading Hope two, the Expressive Iteration two. I bet there is another extra turn somewhere in here. If they're foretelling something, oh, we can be sure. We can be sure as day. Yeah, what you doing here, Punisher? Getting down, the skull on your chest. Punishing everybody real good. There it is, I told ya. Didn't I tell you? If they foretell something, they will have a freaking another extra turn. And here it is, just waiting for us. Or it is a counter spell. Might be a counter spell. Who knows? Who knows? What? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Whatever, man. Whatever. That was freaking weird. Okay. So, we're still in it. They will take an extra turn now. Which will give him a snooze he draw. Oh, let's not do it. It's it's BM. It's just freaking BM. One, two, three, four, five. We don't have enough for a counter spell here. So let's draw a card instead of them destroying my Edgar. It's pretty good. Unless, of course, they do have a uh, divide by zero in hand, then it would be a little bit annoying, but still okay, you know? Yes, bring it back. Bring it back on the field. I want you. I freaking want you here. So, what you doing, my friend? Oh, we're getting a land. Actually, not what I wanted to see here. Like, not at all. Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, I know, we got two Skullport Merchant, but really. Like, really, game. You're trying very hard to help him out here, don't you? Don't you? So, with the Meadok Masker and a Skullport Merchant and all of our little stuff like the Faceless Haven, we at least get in for some... Well... That won't help you too much now, won't it? So, we're getting the Vampire. Oh my lord, the Spider Queen is here. The Spider Queen is here. Can we play her? Yes, we can. After we attack in, we can still play the Spider Queen, which is amazing, because I absolutely will do it. So, now if they wipe the board or whatever, we still freaking win. Take that, Grixis extra turns. After we lost the last game to the extra turns deck, and my computer crashed as well, yeah, nice. That deserves a Sleepy Hedron. That actually does. That actually does. Game is over. Game is over. Like, what are we supposed... Oh, well, no, wait. We do have the spiders. We do have the spiders. But, yeah. Like, they will find a third extra turn here. So, they had two extra turns. They had two duresses, two Fading Hope, two uh, Expressive Duration... It's just bananas. Freaking bananas. Are you attacking in though? Are you now? Oh, here comes a smoldering egg. So they've taken one more turn here. Pretty good for them. Pretty freaking good. Like there's not much we can do about it. So yeah, let us see how this turns out. If it was too late or if they will take yet another extra turn. All they need is one mana to do so. Or they just, you know, take it right away from their hand. That is three extra turns and not even half of their deck. Not even half of their deck. But that also means maybe they don't have any extra turns anymore. So that is good. That is good. Well, the divide by zero, annoying. But hey, we just made them okay. Uh, maybe you should have gotten rid of the Meadok Masker here, my friend. Maybe that is what you should have gotten rid of. Because right now, oh my lord, all of this extra turnage won't help you too much now, will it? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. What? What the heck? Like seriously, what the heck? I will get okay. That is so much all right with me. So much all right with me. Yeah. Okay. 
Good. It's getting better and better. It's just getting better and freaking better. So all I've got to do is to find a way to destroy three creatures. That is all I've got to do. All of it. Uh, end of turn. Are they really getting rid of everything here? They are. They're just getting rid of freaking everything here. Unbelievable. Un freaking believable. Wow. 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 Look at that. Look at it. It's incredible. Just incredible. Wow. I cannot believe how this turned out to be. Like, if we don't get something good here, I will be very disappointed, game. Like, look at it. They took three extra turns in a row. Like, they, that is their fourth turn in a row now. Or their fifth, even? I don't even know. I don't even care. So, can we somehow win this? That is my only question that I have. The only one. Well, we still can in a turn or two. So they're getting in for 10. If they find a way to play three more spells, well, then we're dead. But there's one. Incredible. Like, what are you supposed to do at a certain point? Like, we had the Duresses, you know? We got rid of an Auron's Epiphany. But they just played two more. Together with the Gavanic iteration. So, yeah. Just. Just perfect. Just perfect. I, I. There's not much I can say here, but just freaking perfect. So, all they need now is two more spells. If they have them, well, then we're dead. And we're just dead. To the most exciting game ever. Just so much fun. Holy smokes. Oh, oh! so now they really need something with one black or one red. And the chances of finding that aren't too high, you know? Do we have a chance here is what you're telling me? Oh no, we don't. They found something, didn't they? All they need to do is to play the rest or something like that, you know? All they need... Oh my lord. Oh my lord. We got him. We freaking got him. We freaking got them. I can't believe it. Wow. What a game. What a game. I, I'm going to take a long shower now. A long freaking shower now. Alright, if it wouldn't have been for the one extra turn I get my computer dying. We could have a very nice run, but we went for the one. And we even left, like, how did we win that last game? How was that even possible? I have no clue. That was amazing. Seriously, I was just ready to give up already. I was like, yeah, we lost that game, but we didn't. We somehow won by like a hair. It was amazing. But before we get into the wrap up, I want to thank all of my patrons members, especially now in the times of the giveaway, starting with Mazetto the Great Artist, Randy Campbell, John, Chris Stevens, Automaton, Vincey Mage, Vicky White, John Val, Felipe Rodriguez, yes, Jeremiah Franz, Mike, Grey Wolf, Unmercy88, Stevo, Jonathan Norton, Empty Bag, Morphy, Luis Felipe Sanz Perez, Jerry Teleskiewicz, Albert Tuki, Neliland One, Jose Ceron, Marcario Frescas, Caleb Horst, Troy Graham, Court Du, Band Ages Demander, Oran, Jefferson Perito, Sign in Blood, Doc Vorpal, Chad Riverick, Billy Basham, Christian Rudick, Aeon, Jake, the MTG Snake, Lucas Zimmer and Danny Montgomery. A special thanks to our gold span dragons, Waffles, Randy A.K. Donald T., Jan Newman, Simster65, William Whitehead, Rico Colombaroli, Marco Marino, your boy Big Bizzle, Mr. Mild, Damien Tay, James Wade, Monkey Rage, Jack Top, Jeff Smyre, Phil, Double OG, Raven, Chipster, Nerd, Paul English Wolf, Anima, Cthulhu in Ladder, Silas Fox, Nick Bob, Tim Nowitzki, Hodorific, and Del Martinez. A special thanks to our Nico Bolos, God Pharaohs, Earl. Chris Katowski, Grandoff, William Smith, Ari Wolf, The Lacrimae, Brian O'Reilly, Malchija, Quixen Deal, and Jonathan Zawa. Thank you all so very, very freaking much for supporting the channel directly. I really freaking appreciate, appreciate it. And if you want to help out the channel as well, well, there's a button below every single video. But if you don't have any hard on cash to share, don't you worry about it. There's other ways to support the channel, like subscribing. It's free. There's even a little smile here to remind you. So, yeah. 
Sorry if the video was a little bit late today, but it was just like my computer died in total of two times today. I have no clue what's going on. I have no idea how to fix that. So yeah, maybe I need to replace some parts. I hope I don't have to. So yeah, that was a little annoying, but the deck, absolutely nice. If you like this kind of deck, you will have a very, very good time on Arena. So I now really need to hurry up because normally the video would be up in 30 minutes, but my time schedule got like screwed completely today. So yeah, from the bottom of my heart, thank you also very freaking much. Giveaway is still going on for one day, so make sure to get, the, uh, get that done. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.